Hey YouTube, as promised, we are back with our final holiday episode of Cooking for the Culinarily Challenged, and today we're going to do our fresh cranberry sauce. And we actually had a viewer ask us, what do you mean by real cranberries? Aren't all cranberries real? Well, no, they're not real. Technically, it's somewhere back in their history they might have been real, but by the time they come out of the can, they're just this gelatinous mass that's the shape of the can. So what do real cranberries look like? They look like this. Mm, so yummy. we're working from scratch. And this is one of those dishes that's super, super, super easy to, pre 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 to, blah, 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 to prepare, <clears throat> but almost nobody does it. It's one of those dishes that people are so busy with the turkey and the mashed potatoes and everything else that people tend to skip. So if you're going to an event where maybe you need to bring a dish, this is something you can make that's super easy that you can take with you that everybody will love it and they'll be totally impressed and nobody else will make except maybe for, you know, crazy Aunt Edna who will just very carefully try to sneak her jelly cranberry sauce underneath the table and feed it to okay, the dog. Okay, what goes into your real cranberry sauce? <laughs> well, <clears throat> if you don't have the real cranberries, stop now and go to the store. We have one cup of sugar. We have... Two cups of tangerine juice. Don't use orange, use tangerine. It makes it taste a million times better. Yeah, that extra tartness really makes a difference. We've got our mandarin oranges. And yes, you can use fresh mandarin oranges for that too. I tend to find though that they're a little bit tart. Uh, crushed pineapple. We're gonna need a little bit of water just to add to our tangerine juice for the, for the cranberries to boil in. We're gonna use the zest of one orange. One teaspoon of cinnamon, and one green apple. Now, the green apple is actually for the pectin, because when this is all done boiling and the cranberries have popped, it might be a little bit loose, and the pectin in the apple will help to bind it all together and make it a little bit more gelatinous and a little thicker. So this is a very important ingredient. So, I think it's time to get cooking. Morning, everybody. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get out our pot, have everything going, and the water, the sugar, and the cranberries are going to go into the, water, into the pot first. And we're going to get that started because the cranberries need to hit that boil and then they'll pop. So everything goes in. Stir that up. Excuse me, Daddy Jay, whose legs are in the water. So it's pretty simple. You just basically stir the three ingredients together and you kind of just throw a lid on it. Every once in a while, come back and stir it. You really want the sugar to kind of disintegrate into the water. Yep. And they'll, they'll pop. You'll actually hear them pop. And then uh, <clears throat> after that, we'll add in the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so we've got our cranberries in starting to boil. We put our lid on. We've got about five to ten minutes until they pop. So in the meantime, I wanted to give everybody a little bit of an update on the Right to Love an American Family, which we just got to see at Skywalker Ranch. And that was a really amazing experience. Um, I was a little bit... I, we hadn't seen it anymore before, so we were a little bit nervous about what we were going to see. But uh, what Cassie and Nina and Christina put together was really really amazing. Yeah, they're going to love the movie because it definitely, you know, it's 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 really our life story and it's been, you know, it's incredible what we're trying to do on YouTube. It really comes across well in the movie. It, it's, it was very clear that Cassie, Nina, and Christina really understood what our channel was all about and if anybody had never seen our videos before, they would know completely why we're doing what we do mm -hmm. and I think they did a really awesome job. And you know what really brought the movie together for me is the music. The, the actual people wrote music for this film. Yep. And it's incredible, and it really is the heart of the film. We get to listen to it. We have a little copy right here. And there's um, some really great songs. I know that Hummingbird made it in, uh, Crayons from Matthew Wolfrey, and uh, Wendell Lee's song, and a lot of really great stuff. There's also some original score on here. And we have our copy here, but I know that the girls are planning on making this available sometime at the beginning of the year. January, right? yeah. yeah. should be out in January. January. People can buy it. So hopefully you can get your own copy. And the cool thing about the purchase of our soundtrack is all of that money is going to go towards helping me, you, and the kids get to these different film festivals where we're going to be able to meet other people 
uh, from our YouTube channel, which is mm -hmm. kind of awesome. Yeah. So, I know it's too late for Christmas, but, well, it's coming. It'll be here any day now, and it's pretty awesome. And I know that they're going to start moving the film around to different film festivals, so keep an eye out, because we may be coming to a town near you. Yeah, they can go to the website for Right to Love, and they can actually see whenever a movie, where it's going to be showing and when it's going to be showing. So every time a film festival accepts it, it'll be actually on the website. Right. Okay, so we have just a few minutes until these cranberries pop. We'll be right back. Okay, so it cooked really fast. So it probably took maybe five minutes, and I'd like to take you, let you take a look at what it looks like once they've popped. So basically it looks like cranberry goo. Right. And it's time now to add the remaining ingredients. Now the ones that you have to add are the tangerine juice. We're going to put that in right now. Stir that in. This is one whole green apple that's been peeled and chopped up. Now it's not just a green apple. What kind of? It has to be a Granny Smith a granny apple. Granny Smith, yeah. Is there something about that apple with the what do they call it that goes in it? The pectin. That makes it thicken up. Right, and you can always buy pectin, but what's the point? Uh, here's the one teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, what's a teaspoon in European? You know the equivalent? I don't think there is a European equivalent. Okay. Thought they had different measuring. Maybe they do, but I have no idea. Okay. And then the zest of one orange, and that's really all we're using. And to zest an orange, all you do is just grate the peel off the outside. Real easy thing to do. And don't buy orange zest. It's ridiculously expensive. The fresh stuff tastes better, and it's, uh, and, it's yeah. not that hard to do. And that stuff's usually dry. We don't want it dry. Now the next two steps, or the next two items, are kind of personal choices. Right. You can put nuts and you can put raisins, but that's really nasty. Don't put nuts and raisins in. Someone may really love nuts and raisins, but no. obviously Jay doesn't. The nuts and raisins okay. can go in your stuffing. Okay. So what is this? So this is our crushed pineapple. This is this is our choice. And a lot of this stuff, once it boils, will totally cook in, and you won't even see that it's crushed pineapple in there, but you will taste it. And these are yummy. Yeah. And these are our mandarin oranges. Okay, and in they go. And I wouldn't use the fresh mandarin oranges. Use the can because they have some sweetness and some syrup in them, which really gives the, the cranberry sauce a little bit well, of sweetness. You know, Jay, some mandarin oranges really do have an, a really good sweetness to them when you get them fresh. Okay, well right now it looks kind of mushy. mushy. It does, and this is what the apple's gonna do for us is it's gonna take all that extra liquid and bind it together. So we're gonna turn our heat back up and we're gonna let it come to a boil. And we're going to let it cook together for a few minutes here. And how long does it cook, Jay? Uh, about five to ten minutes. Okay. See once, basically, once it starts boiling, you're going to turn it back down the heat. Yep. And you're going to let it simmer for a little bit. And then you pretty much just, you know, turn the heat off and let it sit. And you're done. How yeah. easy is that? It's probably one of the easiest things we make. And when do you want to make it, uh, Debbie Brian? You could make it... The evening before, the day before, two days before. It doesn't make any yeah. difference. It's, this is one of those recipes that actually taste better the longer it yeah. sits. So we usually make it the day before Christmas. Today's Christmas Eve. Okay, so we've let our dish cook now for about five to ten minutes. And we've, through the magic of video, already have it served up on our dish. Now you might see that it looks a little bit liquidy still. That's okay because it's still actually kind of hot. It just came out of the pan. But as it cools down and gets closer to room temperature, it's going to thicken up and become a gel. And you'll notice that all that crushed pineapple and stuff, and that even the apple, has all cooked in together. And you can't even see that it's in there. But you will taste it, because I'm going to taste it right now. Hopefully it's not too hot. It's kind of hot. Yeah, so basically let it sit but to room really temperature. Good. Then, you know, put some plastic over it and throw it in the fridge for, you know, four to six hours. We like mm -hmm. to put it in overnight. And you can see how much this makes. That's quite a bit. You can cut this recipe down by half, if maybe if it's just you and one or two other people. But it's really flexible, really easy, and I hope you enjoy. Have a good holiday, YouTube.